Hey folks, for more car photography videos and tutorials, please subscribe at the link below and follow me on Instagram at Tom England Photo. All right folks, here's the photo here and in this video we're going to look at one method to create a, a taillight. So turn on the taillight and this is just one method uh, you can do if you're looking to uh, turn on the lights on the car itself. There's many ways you can. Uh, I do have another video as well of creating a headlight effect with a couple different methods. Uh, you can find that link in the description below. So looking at the source photo here, this is one I found on Google and I wanted to find one that not only had the lights on but was at uh, pretty much the same angle as well. Uh, in some cars, depending on which angle you're looking at the lights, they can look a little different uh, in terms of the effect that they have. Now with this, I am using the pen tool and I'm gonna create uh, an outline and this is gonna be the first portion of the light. We're gonna do a couple of these, uh, but this is gonna be pretty much the background layer of the light itself and I'm working on a new blank layer. All right, great, and we're gonna paint this with a color and we're gonna sample the color from this source photo. So um, let's sample the color here and we'll use the brush tool and we'll brush it in. This isn't gonna look fantastic right away. All right, great. And I understand there is a, there's kind of a, um, uh, I guess a reflection here on the right side of the light there. I realize that's there, uh, but for this uh, demonstration, uh, I wasn't gonna correct it. So with the layer style, we're gonna create a layer style here on this layer, and we can play around with the opacity, the size uh, of the outer glow itself that we're gonna add. And that's pretty good so far for that. Let's take a look at the source. And you see with the lights inside, there's some LED bulbs in there, but the, the LEDs themselves are brighter uh, near the center of this and this image and at this angle. Uh, so I'll create a new selection on an additional layer and it'll just be kind of this, uh, this brighter area that's inside. Now that's quite detailed in the source photo. I'm not gonna go that far with this selection. You can if you wanted to uh, take the patience to do so, but this light is quite small and viewing the photo, you probably wouldn't notice much of the difference. So we'll speed through this selection and we're clicking. We'll just making another selection inside and on top of our last selection. There we go. And we'll make a selection again. Now for this one, we're going to paint it. We're going to paint with white. So let's just select this color, go up, select white. And with the brush tool, we'll paint that in. And that is way too bright for this. But what we'll do is first we'll use the blur. We'll use a Gaussian blur. And this is just taking out the, um, the sharper sides to the selection itself. And I could have feathered the selection when I first made it, but this just gives me the option of adjusting it after the fact. Play around with this radius. That's probably pretty good. Another outer glow with this. So we'll add the glow to that and we'll play around with the opacity. Let's just reduce this just a bit. And that's fine there. And back to the original layer, the one below, we should add a Gaussian blur to that as well. And that's just to smooth out the edges here. And a bit more than what's inside on the top layer. That's good. And let's drop the opacity just a bit here on the background. Okay, that's great. And on, we'll create one more layer. Let's drag that to the top. And this is just adding a little bit more light here. Same idea. Okay, make a selection. We'll paint in with white. And with the, uh, the layer style, we're just gonna copy the layer style from uh, layer two. And let's right click on this here. Copy the layer style and paste. And the opacity again with this. And Gaussian blur. 
just a bit like that. That's fine. And that's pretty much it. Now there's one, I guess, optional thing we could do, especially with this uh, particular tail light. There are little LEDs. You can see them are like little, uh, little round LEDs that are in the lights there. We can add them. Uh, but in this photo here, it's going to be quite small anyway. But uh, as an option, we can create a new layer if we want to try that. And on that new layer, we can just create some, some small little bulbs. And that's just using the, uh, the brush tool. And so let's drag this over. And what we're going to do is just use little dots here. We're just painting in some LEDs. And with these, you can adjust the opacity, uh, you can use a Gaussian blur, whatever, just to make it look as close to the source material as possible. Uh, but for this, I'm just dabbing these in here with the brush tool, and the hardness is at zero. And that's it. So that's one method, how to create a taillight effect in automotive photography, and I'll see you again in the next video.